Hello, this options presentation is about the second year option, analysing speech, which is taught in the spring term. The course will give you skills in acoustic and articulatory phonetics. This includes aspects of recording speech, digitisation, interpreting acoustic displays, general articulatory phonetics, so this will mean you are producing and perceiving um, sounds on the IPA chart and articulatory description which is when you describe exactly how somebody produces a word or a phrase. This is useful for those interested in the following. How speech differs among individuals, so this can be the way different people speak. Forensic speaker comparison is uh, implicated in this because if you um, want to find out if somebody said something, um, if they left a threatening message on your answering machine, for example, and then the police interviews someone and you want to check if you think it's likely to be the same person, then you need to know um, about their individual speech patterns so that you can um, look at that information and see if you can um, make any comments about how similar they are. Also for speech and language therapy we need to know um, how a, a typical person produces speech so that we can then look at how people with different kinds of uh, pathologies are producing speech, see how we can remediate that, what's the best way forward um, and so on. It's also useful if you're interested in analysing UK and foreign accents. Uh, so if you're thinking about um, how people speak in the place that you grew up, for example, um, we had a student who worked on some data from a new town and looked at how older speakers and younger speakers from the new town produced certain words and then she looked at the differences and looked at the development of the accent. You can also look at foreign accents. Um, this can be to just describe what's going on in a foreign accent, but it can also be um, looking at areas for pronunciation, teaching and learning, for example. And also phonetic and phonological acquisition. So if you have a child, for example, who's learning how to produce speech um, or producing speech sound, acquiring speech because they're surrounded by speakers of a particular language, um, then you can look at that. Um, I've had students look at the development of intonation, for example, in very young children. Um, that kind of thing is also of interest in this area. Now these skills are vital if you want to do a dissertation in this area. I cannot underline this enough. If you have not done this module and then you come to me asking whether you can do a dissertation which involves analysing speech acoustically, I will say no. Bear that in mind. You need the training if you're going to do a dissertation in that area. The main textbooks for this are Ashby, Understanding Phonetics, and Ladefogid's Phonetic Data Analysis. Both of these are available in the library. If you want to buy one of these to read before you start the module, then I would recommend getting the Ashby. There's also likely to be other weekly readings, things that I'll ask you, you to look at. This may be chapters in books, research papers, it could be my blog, um, all sorts of things that I might ask you to look at. The teaching modes are lectures, um, practical labs working on acoustic data, so you're going to be um, using computer analysis to look at speech, and also general phonetics practical tutorials. So I will be training you to perceive and produce a range of sounds which do not occur in English. Um, we'll be looking at the English ones too, but the focus will be on non-English sounds. So just um, as a kind of taster, here's an example of the speech analysis software Prat. Um, this is actually taken from the Mac version um, of the program. And you can see here that we've got various different um, words produced. Um, we can see underneath in the second um, tier under here, we can see that the, the, we can see the speaker is producing pin, tin, kin, chin, fin, thin, sin and shin. So each of these words is, is marked off and the target consonants we're looking at are these consonants here. And what we do is we zoom in, get a bit more detail, see what the differences were um, between the production of those consonants. You may remember we looked a little bit at this in sounds, grammar and meaning. 
Assessment for this course includes a written report, that's an articulatory and acoustic description of a short phrase. There's also a practical phonetics assessment where you produce and perceive speech sounds, so we'll be assessing you on that. This is an oral type assessment. There's also a portfolio of worksheets. There are eight worksheets that you complete um, during the lab sessions or at home and you submit these and provided you've done them um, reasonably well, then you will get your 10% for doing so. There's also bi-weekly online multiple choice questionnaires. So there are five questionnaires, each with 10 questions relating to um, the reading, uh, what we've covered in the lectures and in the practical sessions and in the lab sessions and so on. You might be asked to read additional things for that. This is a particularly useful um, course if you want to do speech and language therapy, if you're interested in forensic speaker analysis, if you're interested in sociophonetics, um, if you're interested in doing research into phonetics. It trains you in technical skills which are very useful in the workplace. Um, knowing your way around computer programs for example, being able to work out how to fill in spreadsheets effectively, um, being able to um, get data out of computer programs, being able to to look at a visual display and um, match that up with what we know is going on in the physical world. So in this case we're looking at speech. So it develops a range of technical skills which you should find are very useful when you go into the world of work.